Welcome to Marriage and Life Stories with Kansime. Thank you so much for coming, all the returning guests. Thank you so much for coming and all the new visitors coming here for the first time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll ask both of you, look at that subscribe button, touch it and subscribe for me and uh, give me motivation to turn in more videos and let us grow and learn together to be better and better people by the day. Today's topic, as you have read, is um, signs that your spouse is cheating on you. Why do people cheat? Sometimes it is a bad habit, okay? It is re recurrent. You, your father was like that. You, 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 you just your generation, they cheat. And that can be only broken by, by prayer and, and trusting God. Or sometimes people cheat because they have been pushed out of a relationship. You know, you are so mean, this person cannot find, I'm not saying I am supporting them, but if you push out your spouse out of the home, when this person cheats, blame yourself and figure out how to make this relationship much better. So once uh, it has happened, these are the signs that will tell you that this person is cheating on you. Number one, the most, uh, I will deal with the most important at the last so that you can watch up to the end. Number one, uh, this person gives you too much independence, okay? If it is a wife or a husband and it's coming to a weekend, he will say, no, go and be with the girls, you know? Go and be with the boys. Go and watch football. Go and enjoy yourself. And they want you to go and enjoy and mind your own business so that they can have time and bothered, and, you know, and, and, and tampered with as they go about their escapades. So mind it, when someone is giving you so much freedom, all of a sudden they want you to go and be with the girls, they will give you money so that you can go and be away. Number two, this person will get impatient and angry. In the event you're asking, where were you? If you're asking your husband, where were you last night? Or who are you talking with on the phone? Or your wife, you're asking. So who did you travel with? Where were you the other day? The person will get so angry and so disturbed, you know, in, in out of the blue. If you ask just who has called on the phone, just for curiosity purposes, the person will be so angry and so disturbed. So mind it when someone is getting um, so disturbed. Now, this person comes in, it's midnight. Now, I'm not saying someone should sleep without bathing, but he's coming, it's midnight, and they cannot say, let me wash my feet, brush my teeth, and sleep. They just want to shower any day, any time. They've come at midnight, they've come at 3 a.m. They want to shower. Mind it. It's not that people should not shower, but there is that showering that is really so questionable. This person will be planning weekends um, and late night meeting with friends and you are not included. You know they are talking about going to Mweya, going to, to the zoo, going to where? Like the people who capsized on the boats. I know their spouses had even said uh, we are going to the village, we are going to Forumbe, we are going for anything. This person will plan weekends with other people, they will plan for work trips with other people and uh, you will never be involved in their plans. So watch out when someone is planning for trips without you. They're planning with brothers and sisters and you're not there. Mind that so much. And uh, last, uh, no, before last, the person will start minding about their looks so much. If he's a boy, he's not been a man, he's not been using perfume, all of a sudden he's wearing perfume. All of a sudden he has changed from suits and he wants to wear funky, funky wear. He has changed from his, uh, you know, both trousers and he's wearing jeans. The things he never used to do. The lady is all of a sudden minding about her figure, her size, her, you know, she's not been doing makeup and she's doing makeup. And all of a sudden she wants to change to wear short dresses yet she has been wearing those long dresses. Watch out for what is behind that transformation. That diet, you know, I want to make diet. I want to improve myself. 
They are those who are genuine, but they are those who are doing it because they are in love. If you find a woman who is glowing and and uh, she has not been glowing, she has been no to whoever it may concern, get you will in most cases no. If it is her spouse, he has changed the gears of love. If it is not her spouse, she has just decided to forgive you and love herself. If she has not decided to forgive you and love herself, there is someone who is really loving her and making her look that good. Now, the last, which is the most important, last and most important, this person will try as much as possible to avoid sex with you because they have already had it, they are tired, uh, and uh, they do not want to be bothered at all. Or probably the reason they even cheated, you don't match up to, to what they were expecting from you at all. So put up your game and play your cards very well. And before you know it, your relationship will be again. And again, I will not say separate because you have cheated. If you separate, if you are a woman, you separate because the man has cheated on you. Then you will also go and start sleeping around with married men because no young man will come to you again to get married. So you'd rather stick around and uh, and 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 bear and bear whatever is happening. And if it is the wife that has cheated, try. Women don't just wake up and cheat. You have really pushed her, and and she's out there, and and, and she, you just need to bring her back and, and make her settle and 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 continue with life. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. God bless you. Let's meet another time. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you so much.